Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Today is Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Just had to make sure of the date. And welcome to my third episode of What is the Word? Today the word is very, very, very simple and very short. So we're just going to take a look at it. And the gospel is in Luke 7, 31 through 35. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, He is possessed by a demon. A son of man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a gluten and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Basically, in this verse, um, in this Gospel today, um, Jesus says we are like children who fight and disagree. And I think that's true. There's a lot of truth in that. You know, we, we can never be in peace you know where there's always something and I think Jesus is showing us that because he wants us to realize that we're not gonna ever please everyone there's always gonna be someone who's gonna be unhappy you know and I think that's very important important to understand and know that you can't make everybody happy It also speaks about John the Baptist. John the Baptist was, you know, someone who, you know, would talk about Jesus, would talk about the Son of God, that he would someday come. And people said he was, it says it right here, he was possessed by a demon. People said he was possessed because he spoke about Jesus. How can we put that? You know, how can we make it relatable to us today? And it's very easy. You know, when I talk about God, when I talk about Jesus, when I talk about the changes that he's made in my life, I've had certain people say, you know, hey, I, I like I like the that you're excited about this. I like that you're motivated. You know, your 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 energy um gives me good vibes like we you know, we love it. We we get something from you. But it's not energy. It's not vibes, you guys. It's not, you know, we're excited or, or you know, motivated. And No, it's not that. When I talk about God, I genuinely want to express how happy I am. I want to express the refuge that I seek in Him. But I also share what I have discovered. Which is the best news ever. Is that he loves me. He loves me so much regardless of what I have done. What I have been through. He's always been there for me. And that's the message. To not be like the people who didn't believe John the Baptist. And they didn't even believe Jesus. People saw him. People saw Jesus, him do miracles. They heard stories about him. And it says right here, the son, the son of man came eating and drinking. And you said, listen to what the people said. He is a gluten and a drunkard. They called him a drunk. A friend of tax collectors and sinners. Guys, Jesus did that is so we could see that we need to humble ourselves. That just because we go to church, that just because, you know, we pray every day doesn't mean that, you know, we're above everybody else. We're not. I that go to church every day, I don't think I'm better than you. Maybe it's been years since you've gone to church. I don't know. But I don't judge you. And God doesn't judge you. And Jesus doesn't want you to judge anybody. Jesus ate with the sinners. To set an example for us. To be humble. To be accepting. 
You know, when was the last time you sat down with somebody? Sat down with somebody that, you know, was not, not, not less than you, but just that wasn't in your little circle. When was the last time you listened to somebody? When was the last time you shared, you know, a, a drink with somebody? Or you just said, hey, how are you? I hope you're doing great. You know, a little text message. When? And when are we going to stop? When are we going to stop, you guys? When are we going to stop and think, man, like, he does exist. I don't want to be like those people that were in the times of Jesus and didn't believe. I want to be those people that were in the time of Jesus and did believe. You know, and when we got to believe a little bit more harder because Jesus isn't here, physically here. Like he was back then. And people didn't believe back then. You know, we got to be different, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired. I'm tired of looking for, you know, love and, you know, just looking for something to keep myself occupied with. I'd rather learn about God and get closer to God and have a relationship with God. I'm done. And if I'm here today sharing this third episode, it's because I want you to say, hey, let me give this a chance. That's it. Let me believe in him. It's all about faith. You got to have faith in something. Why not try him? That's it. That's the message. Jesus wants us to be believers. Jesus wants us to believe in him. That's it. Guys, I love sharing the word with you. I'm going to be putting more videos up. More videos of different things. But today's podcast, what is the word? That is the word. Jesus wants you to believe in him. To be a believer. That's it. God bless you guys. Take care. And we will see you tomorrow.